I've heard the name like Moths to Flames uh, kicking around the internet, but I've never listened to their music. This is a song called Do Not Resuscitate. Thank you to Paul M. on Patreon for making this your request of the month. Here we go. And go. Suck it to me. Ooh, that double little splash. Tasty drums. Ooh, that bass. So much space in this mix. It's interesting. Sparing on the guitars. Tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping they'd go back to that note. Screen vocal backing that up. finish that was perfect leave it yes amazing what a fucking cool song well that certainly tickled me in all kinds of places i fucking loved that there was the groove that i love so much in many of the, the music i enjoy uh drummer was very very good some fantastic fills in there and some moments of decoration where he's hitting like a double splash hit um or it might have been a hi-hat it depends different symbols can sound kind of similar in that way uh, just throwing that in here and there. Double kicks were very on point, especially in that <laughs> bit right towards the end. Loved the bass sound within that as well. That cut through really nicely. The guitars were really thoughtfully put together, actually. There was plenty of technicality in there and busyness here and there, but also lots of space. 
like I think it was in the, the, the main verse that happens after the full thing kind of kicked in, there was almost no discernible guitar, right? There was drums and there was some bass and there was some vocal bits and pieces, but the guitars were sort of like individual notes. I think they were creating sort of an atmospheric tone. It wasn't really doing any kind of riffage or, you know, high mealy mealy bits and pieces. So that was quite interesting. The mix of it, I thought, was maybe the only thing for me that held it back a little bit. There was an overall dark lowness to it um, that, yeah, it reminded me of kind of production bits and pieces from 15 years ago or so. And it was really well done. It was just, it was just unusual. I think I wanted a bit more power throughout for, from other bits and pieces, but it, I mean, the song shone through regardless. I thought it was really, really well uh, put together. Like it was not a bad mix. It's just not quite the, the strong force and presence of more, you know, recent mixes that I've, I've enjoyed. Very good vocalist. Screen vocals were amazing. Cleans were great as well. It reminded me a bit of Sailsin, which is usually my reference point for that kind of high clean cut through uh, vocal. But yeah, that, it, it reminded me of that, that kind of era of kind of emo rock, which uh, I have enjoyed a lot of. But that was seriously strong. And I loved the tempo shift at the end for that kind of outro heaviness with extra double kicks and things. I loved the rips. There were some nice gaps within those as well. Plenty of groove, as I said. It was great, man. Fucking what a cool song. Very, very impressive. So Light Moths to Flames, Do Not Resuscitate, for me, is a delicious song. I think it's more than solid. I think that had so much that tickled me throughout. It was lovely moments that elevated it beyond just like, hey, this is a good kind of heavyish rock song. It was very well put together, really kind of hooked into me. I enjoyed that a whole bunch. If you want to connect with other people who like this kind of music as well, I've got a free Discord server you can join. Link is in the description. If you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon. If you want to let me know that you like the video, you can do so. If you want to see more videos in the future, you can do so as well. Have a wonderful day and maybe I'll see you in another video.